The Heinkel 177 made a small impact on the war on the Eastern Front. A handful of prototypes were used at the uh, Stalingrad airlift, where they were almost all destroyed in in-flight accidents. There are numerous candidates for the title Hitler's Greatest Mistake. The Einkel 177 may not be among the top candidates, but it is certainly on the short list. In 1937, soon after manufacturers delivered the first prototype, the military ordered the company to modify the plane, intended as a heavy bomber, to make it capable of dive bombing. The results of this muddled thinking were a number of design anomalies, the most egregious of which was the fact that a four-engined aircraft was fitted with just two propellers, intended to give greater maneuverability and stability during a dive. Unfortunately, the DB-601 engines were complex, fitted extremely tightly, and covered in a tight cowling. And with two engines harnessed to each single propeller, the engines ran hot and were prone to bursting into flames. Luftwaffe air crew nicknamed the plane the Flaming Coffin. They can never solve the problem of these two engines linked together overheating. And more HE-177s will be lost to operational accidents and engine fires than to combat. In fact, very few of them actually get into combat because the operational rates, it's such a cranky aircraft. In other words, they've tried to jump generations of aircraft development and they failed. On one notable occasion, Reichsmarschall Goering watched 14 HE-177s taxi to attack London. 13 took off, eight returned immediately with overheating engines, one diverted elsewhere, and only four reached the capital, where one was shot down. Almost all of the systems of the aircraft were new and radical. It had remotely operated uh, defensive gun barbettes, which was a real technical innovation. A gunner would control a number of turrets at the same time through a, a remote gun station. That never worked properly. Had the Germans had more time, there was a plan to redesign the Heinkel into a standard four-engine configuration that probably would have been quite effective. 